does practice actually make perfect when we talk about doing nails? I've got a couple opinions on this. We're going to talk to Tracy too right now on the Biz Talk. of changing it up trace yeah is that what we're calling it <laughs> it's like loud and then we got creepy i'm changing it up i'm gonna spice up the intros for our audience that deserves to be entertained this is what i'm doing tracy by just kind of bopping and weaving and a little left a little right I'm just, on my intro just here for the ride <laughs> yeah exactly you're just here for the ride let me let me drive the ship. Is that what Jorge said? Drive, drive, drive the plane. Drive, drive what? Plane the ship. Plane the ship. I'm gonna ship the captain. I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. This is a good topic because there are. Uh, I used to think one way about practice. Okay. Mm. I have a completely different perspective on practice today, but. We see this um, quite a bit. I've seen it on the community. People talking about like, I'm just getting started. How do I go about practicing? Um, how much should I practice? Asking these questions. But obviously, people need to practice. You have to practice any craft. So like, we know that. Right. The question is, how much, like what type of strategy um would you recommend for somebody that's getting started or even if you're a veteran but you're jumping into a brand new like skill like let's say you don't do dip powder and now mm. you're going to dip mm -hmm. or you don't do gel um, but let's start with beginners like what's a good strategy for practicing what did you do in your early days as a young nail tech trace i victimized people and used them as guinea <laughs> and then you, you asked are them my to, next victim <laughs> you said pay me at the end of it correct sure or they didn't pay you <laughs> you don't remember well my mother no she did not pay me because she wait birthed, a second she birthed me so i was That's, okay listen listen this is business no okay okay <laughs> this is business mom mom okay. did not pay you know Again, what? Gave life. If I was your agent, gave, gave life. If I was your agent, I am not only charging your mom, I'm taxing her because that's mothers need to be I'm supportive. Go talk to young. <laughs> don't, don't, no, no, don't, 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 please don't. Because my head. Other people, yes, I did. I well, I would not. A, let me clarify. I wouldn't be like that's sixty dollars. <laughs> I, I would hope I would you know hey if you can give me twenty that helps cover the cost of the product you know yeah. and I'm talking about when I'm working at home like and practicing before I really went full on full force in the salon yeah well okay so then how did you divvy up your like you, you, so your practice was you're practicing on people family and friends I'm assuming yeah, we didn't that's have what those great trainer hands back then all we have was this stupid little hook finger yeah horrible I know, good for the nose though I mean. I don't know where that came from. Okay, not good for the nose. Just kidding. I don't pick my nose. Well, maybe sometimes. Just kidding. I don't. Well, anyway. Um, Do you need me here? <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. Um, so would you practice um, on those fingers? I mean, that's all. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's all I had because the important thing is you're practicing. And, yeah. I, and I even had a like a plastic mat that I practiced just picking up pearls and placing it down. down. So it well, didn't always have to be a nail, but yeah, or myself or my husband, my poor husband. Um, anything I could, yeah, it's it's more important to practice on this to not practice at, at all. all. But how would you kind of, would you, um, <clears throat> was it like, okay, I'm only, I'm not doing people because even though you're you're barely charging them. Still, it's terrifying if like you're it just was. starting. Yeah, man, that it's is terrifying. Horrible, and yeah. you're doing usually family, so you know that's always the judgment oh, is big. Yeah, what are you doing? I get to see them after this, and I have to look at the nails I did, and it's it's yeah. So no, it's but you have to do it. You, you have do you it. You got to you got to just jump because if you don't take that jump, then in two months you're going to be in that exact same spot, and in six months exact same spot you're never going to get past it so you have to start it's like going to the gym you have to start sometime yeah would 
you recommend what's more important like if like today well like why don't you give me a recommendation if you're like habib quit <laughs> quit and open up your own salon habib right you're just genius business owner get in the back end of that salon and make it work let's go with that <laughs> um hmm. would it be so today we've got the hands so yeah. Habib, spend this much time a day just doing like, okay, I'm going to start with acrylic, Tracy. So give me a strategy. Lay it, lay it out for me. Am I going to go like do an hour a day on the hand or, and <laughs> you're looking at me like so judging, um, and then like get somebody in the chair every day so that you can practice on a real person. If you could get a person in your chair every day, that would be great. That's when ideal. You, that's ideal. If you're just starting, that might be hard to do. Yeah. You know, how many friends? I don't have that many friends. Could you? You're, actually, she doesn't. <laughs> that's, that's, I can verify. It would be like one a year. I don't eh, know. It's like a half person. But with the trainer hand, is huge. I want you to practice more than an hour on it, though. Could you get, I mean, you could get two trainer hands. You could set them up. Exactly. And you could be like, okay, I'm going to time myself. I'm going to go full sets. And, and I'm going to tell you, if you guys have the trainer hands, don't do all five fingers. Um this is just the this is what we do in OWC do the four the trainer hand is way harder to do than a real person if you can do the trainer hand you can you literally when you go to do a real person you're like oh my god really oh yeah wait why because the forms don't like to stick to the plastic so well you have to cleanse it really nicely you gotta you know the, you don't form all 10 fingers like you normally would because you know the, the hands falls down or you rest it and the forms go crooked the the t nobody's fingers were those big that big i mean it's great wow compared to not having anybody it's like the next best thing but if you can do sally i call her sally yeah you could you know we people at owc at like towards the end of the week they'll start practicing on um each other, each other and they're like oh my god you were right it's so much easier dude i think that is that's what you want though yeah. you you want a certain level of frustration that you have to overcome using a trainer hand so that by the time you do work on a person, you're like, oh my, I mean, you're going to be more relaxed. Yeah. It's going to be easier. I love that. Yeah. So when you're doing her for timing, not when you're practicing, do all five fingers when you're practicing, but when you're timing yourself, just do the four because it's about equal to doing a real hand, uh, hands, all 10. Oh, interesting. Really? Yeah. Okay, so you just go four and four on the on the yeah, trainer hand. Yeah, when I'm uh, doing timing, yeah. Okay, it's it's very equal to it. And um, so this is a great like get a and so look, you can get a trainer hand. Obviously, we sell trainer hands. You can get it from us or get it from somebody else. I know there's one type that is sold on Amazon that's not good. Don't get that the one. Tips don't stick. The yeah. tips don't stick, right? Yeah. Um, I I mean ours is not cheap but what a great investment you know and if somebody else has a good one i'm not saying buy ours like get whatever you need to get but what a great tool to actually start practicing and the fact that tracy's saying it is more difficult that is what you want yeah. because now you're going to build confidence and then when you get to a real person and you're like oh my gosh like that's a huge so much easier yeah that's a big thing and then huge practice on yourself Oh, for a right. couple different reasons you're gonna now have the feel of a real hand it is harder to do yourself it is especially opposite hand but um the main part of practicing on yourself is you learn how things feel yeah uh, electric file especially it's really important that it you know that's why sometimes i almost think it's harder for men to learn the electric file um than women unless they actually wear nails wear or right. practice it on themselves because right. We are so afraid of the electric file that when we go to a real person, we're like so gentle and we're like barely using it. And then when we do ourselves, we're like, oh, oh, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Or, or, oh, they said not go back and forth. And I did. And now I have this lovely <laughs> mark on Nick. my, yeah, you learn like, oh, that hurt or, oh, that doesn't hurt at all. That's huge. Um, so practice hands. Great. Uh, practice on yourself. Great. Now, I'm going to bring up probably the one thing that is most feared probably for nail techs. And you tell me if I'm right or wrong on this, Tracy. Doing your toes. Huge <laughs> fear. 
Huge. Doing your toes was not what I was going to say. Okay. But we'll get to that. Um, what I was going to say is consistently with discipline, timing yourself. Mm. So the way that I visualize this is it's like, let's say you're practicing basketball, right? And I'm just going to stand at the free throw line and shoot free throws, you know, just kind of chill. And and then I'm going to go behind the three-point line, take my time. And when you get in a real game, you're going to get smashed because like people move. Because people move and the clock is ticking. Yeah. And that's the reality. That's how you have to practice. Now, if you're practicing, you can do an amazing nail with no time pressure. That's great for your in, in initially. Like you got to get the technique down as Tracy and Greg always say technique first, timing second, Speed right? Second. Speed yeah. second. But once you get that technique, how vital is it to start timing? Yeah. No, but that's what we do at the OWC too is people once because people are like well i got it now and and it looks really nice and they're like well i want to move on to something else well we're very scheduled yeah and, and the owc right. we're like no we're timing you now and they're like what <laughs> no now you're going to do multiple fingers because real people have more more fingers that's right and we're going to start breaking it down we're going to see where your prep is we're going to see where your application is we're going to see how how long that that's the next step yeah um i know that like when you or Greg have showed me like doing a nail and then it's like I start imagining doing this under like in an hour 10 of them it's completely changes the game yeah like once you actually have to move you know what it is like I have to make a decision and move on so like if I have no time limit, I'm going to look at a nail. I'm going to be like, oh, I can get a little bit more here. Let me fix this part here. Wait a second. I get that more straight, uh, more perfect, more perfect, more perfect. Like you're going to go crazy. Yeah. And then you, you're you're thinking, I'm going to make this the most perfect single nail on the planet. Dude, you got to move on. <laughs> you realize, oh, she has nine more fingers. Yes. Yeah. No. You got to move on. You have to move on. And that's the, the what I keep on talking about the OWC. Yeah. But that is what we really have structured with it is is we want you to go home and not be able not say well i can do one perfect finger right <laughs> i want you to be able to do salon success beautiful all 10 fingers on a customer correct and and that doesn't mean you might not leave here doing it in an hour but you might have showed up and, and was it was taking you 5 hours right no matter what your time's coming down and right. and that's what what we practice over and over so what you need when you are practicing is first of all undivided attention yeah this is like if you're working on sally the trainer hand it's still a customer the phone is aside the all the noise is tuned out real life situation start to finish yeah yeah and you you need to you have to um practice those like situations yeah. right of like okay when i i'm gonna give myself let's say you sit down to do like let's say a full set of acrylics right with glitter maybe two glitters uh glitter fade or something you should i mean assuming that you have the technique down and you understand the technique right yeah. now you're moving on to timing you have to like i'm gonna flip the timer on I'm not answering my texts. I'm not looking at Instagram. I'm not gonna look at social media. If somebody calls, I'll call them back like I have a real client like, in front of me. Cause you will never know. You'll never figure out your timing. Dude. If you don't. And then when you get into a salon or you open up your, your own and if it takes you six hours, like the client's gonna be like, dude, get me out of here. Yeah, exactly. And I, what I see a lot of with, uh, and I think it's a great idea to do. I see, uh, so many practice these beautifully long, long nails. Sure. High, high art. That's great. Beautiful. Please practice that. If that's especially if that's what you want to specialize in. But we also, when you're first starting, let's start with the practical. Let's start with the meat. Yeah. Right. Of of nails and what a, most people are going to want in salon, and then let's practice that kind of stuff that's on top of it. Get the basics down. Yeah. Base. I think Greg talks about that a lot. Fundamentals. Fundamentals. 
get that down and then let's let's go into these beautifully long nails and 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 get get those down after that yeah you can't i mean in anything in life right you can't jump to to step 10 before you get through one two like i've always wanted in our business i've always wanted like god it would be amazing to have our inventory managed digitally and to have scanners and to and I actually tried doing that right. like years ago when we weren't ready for it because we didn't have the fundamentals yeah. of uh, our business, you know, when it came to operations, they weren't solid, you know, like some of these basic rules of organization within a warehouse. So when I tried to jump to step 10 and get some technology, it didn't work. Everybody chaos. It was full chaos. Yeah. I ordered those scanners. They It didn't work. So we ended up just forget it. Let's not do this. A lot you know? of money down the drain. A lot of money down the drain. Yeah. So now we have it, but that's because, you know, it's like we, we had to go through all these things and build some good fundamentals. Nails is the same thing. Baby steps. Baby steps. Um, it's, I, I love when, when, when you talk about this, you always talk about like the importance of doing a pink and white nail. And it's not so much that maybe in the salon, you're not going to be doing them because they're not maybe hugely popular right now. I mean, think the trends come and go, it could probably come back right now, you know, pink and white smile line, you know, nails are not like probably being ordered by people, uh, walking into salons, but it is a great like thing to have right because it's it's a fundamental if you can do that you can do anything and it, that's really the case when we teach a lot of times people like the first day they have their that our huge art thing out and we're like no 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 that's that's day three what <laughs> but this is what i want to do yeah yeah but first we're going to learn overlays right overlays and then we're going to move on to nude sculpting and then we're going to move on to pink and whites i don't want to do pink and whites well do you not want to do glitter smile lines well yeah i want to do that well i guarantee your your glitter smile line is going to be the best out there if you can do a pink and white correct so it's just a process yeah it's it's um it's uh, what do you call it it's just basically tr it's a i forget it just mine totally went blank but you're training your brain yeah to uh take it each one to the next step right exactly it's a it's a really the way that you guys teach in that course and we've been doing it for i mean ever since we had to stop last year but um since 2009 or t i don't even know it's over 10 years um you you learn like that perfect sort of like step by step process like one builds into the next that builds into the next exactly. that builds into the next patience right? patience I tell them patience yeah. it all makes sense in the end yeah it's like when people are like dude i want to make you know amazing videos mm -hmm. um uh you know for for youtube and okay do you know how to like just cut or shoot a basic video cut edit you know no Okay, learn that first. Go on to YouTube. Just learn the basics of yeah. just loading up a video and and before you can get to the effects and the the transitions and the color grading and Can I should I get the five thousand dollar camera? Let's no. let's practice on the iPhone first. Dude, I tell everybody that this is first of all, like these are really good enough, you know. Um do not get anything. Yeah. Use your phone first. Figure it out and then get the fundamentals. Yeah. Same exact thing. Well, and that's, uh, I taught a class this morning, a Zoom class. And the first thing I t taught them was how to pick up pearls. Yeah. And I told people, like, you might think this is crazy. I said, but I will. I would spend an hour practicing picking up my pearls. Yeah. I still practice p picking up pearls. Dude, what? picking up pearls is hard. Yeah. And, but if you have the control of it, the next step is easy. The right. overlay, super right. easy. If you have the overlay, now we have the concept. Now we move into sculpting. So it's, it's, it's and, the, and another thing um, I will say about practicing, there are things that you can skimp on right that that are cheaper that like like the trainer hands we're talking about sure. or something like that but i will get messages and people are like can i just use a really really cheap product that i don't plan on using um and just to practice and then i don't recommend it yeah use the product that you're going to want to use um because totally. i've used cheap products i you know went to school taught with cheap products it was completely different than when i had a good product so um some there are things that might feel like practicing picking up a pearl with good product might feel like such a waste of money but it's not yeah and the thing is is that if you're gonna spend the 
if you're going to spend all this time practicing, you don't want to start with a, a liquid and powder that's quote unquote cheap. That's going to have a different feel, vibe, you know, setup time. And then you move on to, let's say you go to a quality product and it's going to be different because it will be different. Yeah. It's not going to be the same. No, and now you're going to have to like relearn it all over again. Yeah. So you might as well start with the product that you want to use, practice with it. And that way, when you go to actually execute sets, you've already got it down. Correct? Correct. Let us know in the comments below your uh, practice schedule, how you go about it, what do you do, what did you do, and even when you want to learn a new um, skill like dip powder or gel, what do you do? How do you take on practice? Comments below. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us, and we'll see you next time on The Biz Talk.